The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loop number 21 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national-level governments. Bear in mind that it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Extreme weather events drive climate change, as reported in the August 15, 2013 issue of Nature. Details are elucidated via modeling in the June 6, 2014 issue of Global Biogeochemical Cycles. Further data and explanation are presented in the April 27, 2015 online issue of Nature Climate Change. Explaining Extreme Events of 2014 from a Climate Perspective was the title of a paper published as a collection of 15 peer-reviewed papers. That's a collection of 15 peer-reviewed papers by 77 scientists from seven countries. These papers appeared in the Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society in their December 2015 issue. Findings of this report, released on November 5, 2015, include the following, quote, Human activities, such as greenhouse gas emissions and land use, influenced specific extreme weather and climate events in 2014, including tropical cyclones in the Central Pacific, heavy rainfall in Europe, drought in East Africa, and stifling heat waves in Australia, Asia, and South America, end quote. According to a paper in the June 13, 2016 issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Atmospheric aerosols strengthen storm clouds, thus leading to extreme weather. An abundance of aerosol particles in the atmosphere, constantly added via industrial activity, can increase the lifespans of large storm clouds by delaying rainfall, making the clouds grow larger and live longer and producing more extreme storms. For many years, scientists have cautioned that individual weather events could not be attributed to climate change. Now, however, specific extreme weather events can be attributed to climate change. A 200-page March 2016 report from the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine examines the current rate of science of extreme weather attribution and identifies ways to move the science forward to improve attribution capabilities.